Dolly Tanashlu misses country food from her hometown, Nauyat Nunavut. The 65-year-old Inuk now lives in Winnipeg, and thanks to an Inuit hamper program, she gets a taste of home. I get Arctic char, caribou, and makta. Makta is... Whale. Yeah. <laughs> Manitoba Inuit Association started the hamper program when the pandemic hit providing essentials like food and toiletries to Inuks in the province. Janelle um, Samertuk is the program coordinator. Them, like they're really struggling right now, especially we saw with COVID, it, um, people lost their jobs and they didn't really have um, anything. So we thought this was the best way to, that we could help them. The program has helped people like Tanashalu and her husband, Nelson. They used to present Inuit culture in schools, but then COVID-19 shut down that income. Nelson says the Inuit Association helps with more than just food delivery. If we have problems, we can, we can go to them. And they have the resources. They know, they know where to send us, you know, direct us in the right ways and stuff like that. Samertuk says the feedback from the hamper program has been positive and enjoys helping families in need. To me, it, it's, um, it's really empowering to, to be able to help my community. Um, to know that there's a lot of people out there struggling and that we're able to give them just to, something to even go through um, a few weeks and, and have food. The association relies on funding from Indigenous Services Canada. Samertuk says as long as COVID continues and they receive funding, the HAPR program will continue. Michelle Karlenzig, APTN National News, Winnipeg.